At the beginning of this chapter, I mentioned that regular expressions are one of the most powerful tools available to us in the Perl language. The thing that makes regular expressions so powerful is that they enable us to search not just for a very simple fixed substring in which we know exactly what it's going to look like before we start looking for it, but it allows us to search for more flexible patterns. So for instance, instead of simply searching for only the word pelican within a larger string, we can look for any instances of any of three or more words such as puffin, pelican or penguin. We don't know which ones are going to appear within the larger string, but we can simply ask Perl to find any instances that it can within the larger string and return those to us. We could also ask Perl to look for anything at all between quote marks. So in this case, we don't know very much at all about the substring we're looking for, but by using a regular expression, we can specify exactly the kind of pattern that we're looking for. So we know that it begins in a quote mark, it ends in a quote mark, and we have no idea what's between it, but we can still use this pattern to get Perl to return anything that fits it from the larger string. We can get really sophisticated using regular expressions to match patterns within larger strings and do things like validating the syntax of email addresses. To begin with though, let's look at regular expressions in their simplest form. And in its simplest form, a regular expression is a simple search for a fixed substring. We're not going to look at all the sophisticated elements of regular expressions that make them so powerful to begin with. We're just going to look at the basic syntax for asking Perl to search for the most basic pattern of all, which is a very simple substring. So in effect, what we're doing here is nothing beyond what we could do with the index function. Here is the most basic syntax for a pattern, and that is the pattern itself and the letter M at the beginning and the letter M here stands for match. So we're asking Perl to match the pattern that we specify between those two slashes. Let's see how that works in context. This snippet of code here does some pretty simple things. The first line, it sets up a larger string in which we're going to search for the word pelican. Then in the second line, we do the pattern match. Now at first glance, it could look like we're seeing if the sentence variable and the word pelican are equal. But in fact, this operator here is not the equality operator. It's the pattern matching operator. And that's what we use when we're going to compare a larger string with a pattern of which we want to find instances. This matches operator here tells Perl to look to the right of it for the pattern which we're going to search for within the larger string. If we use the default variable, this special variable over here, we can use our regular expression here without specifying which string we're going to search against. Just like most other functions within Perl, the special variable dollar underscore acts as the default variable that the function will operate if we don't specify any particular variable on which we want our function to be carried out. We can also leave out the M at the beginning of the pattern. There are instances in which we'll need to use the M for instance, if we wanted to use any character other than a forward slash for demarcating the pattern. The vast majority of the time, though, we can leave it out. So here is a very concise form of testing the 
regular expression against the larger string. The if block here will only be carried out if the substring, pelican, is found within the larger string.